complete chaos due to a failure in leadership. I wish to assure you that this chaos is going to be over soon. Last time in 2018 when you voted for your candidates and voted for Meghalaya's self-esteem and self-respect with, with hopes in your heart and aspiration in your mind, your mandate was not given respect. Your mandate was not respected. This time when Trinomul Congress is coming to you, let me tell you there are 1700 political parties in this country, not 1, 2, 5 or 10. 1700. And out of this 1700 political parties, Trinomul Congress is the only party which is taking on BJP head on despite all their threat and not has cowed down to Delhi. So Meghalaya has to fight for their own right. I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want your state to be ruled and governed by Guwahati or Delhi? Please answer me. Do you want Meghalayans to be subservient to people sitting in Guwahati and sitting in the ivory towers of Delhi? Or you want your own self-respect? And come what may, we will not sell our self-respect and our spine to anyone. That has to be the mindset and attitude. This is the fight. So every Meghalayan has to be associated in the fight, irrespective of your caste, creed, religion and political differences. I want to assure you, in every stop, in every step of this fight, I'm going to be with you. Every Trinomul Congress soldier is going to be with you. And I want to make it very clear, in the next three months when elections are over and a new democratic progressive government is formed in Meghalaya, Meghalayans are going to rule Meghalaya, not people of Bengal or people of Delhi. Meghalaya has to show the rest of the Northeast that what it is capable of. It is the most rich biodiversical place when it comes to the entire country. Places like Meghalaya, Arunachal Pradesh. But they have been ignored over the years. It's being perceived as a small state. Why small state? In the as for the constitution, every state has got the same has has to be given the same amount of amount of respect and regard. So, if states like Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, Bihar, Haryana are being see are being seen and perceived as big states, why do we perceive Meghalaya as a small state? It is time we make them realize what Meghalaya's people are capable of. And I would like to tell you that this shoddy alliance of MDA will not even be able to win a single seat from Gado this time. Not even one. I have been to a lot of places. I have been in active politics for a long period of time. I have been the party's general secretary. I have been involved organizationally in various capacity. I have been to many districts, many villages, many places, many cities, many states. But the kind of love and enthusiasm that I have observed and witnessed, let me tell you, change is only a matter of time. It's going to happen in two months or three months.